Hey guys, so I know I've been gone for about a month, but I'm back now. It's been crazy. Need a best two eyes and a lot of stuff going on. But we had a really fun day out in Meadow Hall yesterday and this is going to be the haul. So the first place we went to was M&S, which me and my mum really like. My mum got these pyjamas, so those are the bottoms and then the top, it's not plain. says kindness on there they're really good but obviously not now because it's winter but they'll be really good for when we go down to a certain place in the summer and then i've got this top which is really nice it's it's the same on the sleeve as it's on the top but the Stripes are thinner on the sleeves and they are on the top, the gaps are a lot thicker. And then it's Don't worry, be happy. Oops, you can't see that. There you go. Which, in spite of everything that's going on, is a pretty good thing to to have, I guess. Good saying. I don't know, don't know what the word is. And then she got this t-shirt, which is similar to the top, the gaps on the stripes and the sleeves are thinner than they are on the top itself. Again, that'd be really good for in the summer. And then... Right way around would help. And then we've got this really nice um, plain tie. It looks purple on camera, but it's not. It's like a, a pale blue, I'd say, like a sky blue. Again, not really good for this time of year. It's too thin. And then finally, my mum got this one is really nice and this one you'll most likely see again in a minute so that's everything that my mum got and then as I said I like M&S as well so I bought myself this blouse which is really nice and it's a uh, thicker material which is good for colder weather and then we went to H&M and I bought myself or no I didn't my mum did she bought me this rubber shirt which is again really nice bought my sister something which I'll show you in a second And then that top that I was just talking about from from m &S. This one. I loved it so much. I asked my mum very kindly on the way back to the car if she would go and buy me the exact same. So I have the same. Okay, I think that's everything from me. Now... Moving on to my sister. And there's a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so, Melon Melanie really like, well, she suits things from Primark. So, I got her this t shirt, which is really cute. It's got a drawing of Minnie Mouse on it. Again, really good for summer. And I don't know where to put stuff. I'm just gonna set that behind me. And then from H&M, along with the rugby shirt for me, we bought this for Melanie. Which is really pretty. 
I think it's a light and it looks kind of purpley blue on camera. But it, it is a lilac colour. It is definitely lilac. It's just the camera doesn't do it justice. And then carrying on with the Primark haul, I don't know how well some of this stuff's going to be able to be shown because it's quite big. We've got this from Olene, which I don't really know if you can see. It's got, oh that's perfect, it's got Dumbo, Bambi and Thumper on it. And it's like a, like an army green colour, but again, camera's not doing it justice. So you wouldn't above now. And I can't pull tops up apparently. And then also from Primark, we got this hoodie for Maloney, which I'm not going to unfold because it's just a plain blue. But that's going to going to look really good on her. Seems to really suit the colour blue. I don't know why. And then also got her this sweatshirt. Do you know what you're thinking? It's cute, but it gets cuter. Got all the peanut characters on the on the back, which is pretty dang cute. Oh, it's in a really nice uh, pink colour, which again really suits Melanie. And then got this daffodil yellow, which just has Winnie the Pooh on it, and I think that's oh, I thought it had writing on it. Obviously, I'm thinking of something else. Clearly, it doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. There's Winnie the Pooh on the bottom. No, I wasn't going nuts. And then, nearly done, clothes wise. And we got this one from Eleanor, which I'm not going to unfold because it's pretty obvious what it is. It's Mickey head, the glove that Mickey wears and D for Disney, which I have seen this in other people's videos and I've also seen it on Instagram. So, I had to get this one for Melanie because she is a big Disney fan. And then last but not least, we got these pajamas for Melanie, which aren't really appropriate for this time of year. They're a bit thin, but they'll come in when she can wear them. So, then we went to the shop under the stairs, which if you've seen one of my other videos, you'll know I love Harry Potter. So, I got a wand. I got it's Commando's wand from Fantastic Beasts. Because I love the Fantastic Beasts films, and the third one is coming out later this year. So it seemed only appropriate to get... Newt's wand. It just looks like this. I'm sure everyone who loves Harry Potter has seen this before in other people's videos. And I did order some stuff from the Harry Potter website, so I will do a separate video on that when all that comes. Because I kind of bought myself another wand. And then we went to Build a Bear and I I bought I ordered this badger. It's the where is it? It's the Hufflepuff badger. I ordered it online. But in Build a Bear I bought this hoodie. This Hufflepuff hoodie. And it can look like this. And it just it just looks really cute. And he has the Hufflepuff scarf, of course. And then also from Build a Bear, I got the Hufflepuff cup. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. You can see that. Which I just grabbed my model. It's got a bit of elastic on, so the bear can hold it. it could... It's the Hufflepuff cup, but if you really into Harry Potter it could also be the Triwizard Cup but it's not I don't want it to be no and then I got a chocolate frog 
from Builder Bear, not a real one, obviously. But it's just you open it up, and inside there is a chocolate frog, which needs detaching, but the details that go into some of this stuff are so cute. And then I got a Hogwarts letter. It's personalised, I haven't written on it yet, but I do also have Hedwig. And there's a bit of um, Velcro on the back. You can stick it to Hedwig. And it looks like, whoops, Hedwig is holding the letter. Which is pretty dang cute. Uh, got two of them. Because I have a Harry Potter bear. And I also have this cute guy. Which I'm actually thinking of calling him Cedric after Cedric Degree from Harry Potter. But if you guys can think of any other names for the badger, comment down below. So then we went to um, Waterstones and World Book Day is coming up. So we got a few books. This one is Dinosaur Raw and Friends. And then Welcome to Grimwood. Think like a bus and a fact joke book thing. And then also from uh, Waterstones, I got myself some books as well. So my mum bought me this one, which is Harry Potter: A Journey Through a History of Magic. And if you can see up here, it was done for the twentieth anniversary of the first Harry Potter film. And then I bought myself this behind the scenes of the Crams of Grindelwald. As you can see, the picture moves. It becomes different things, which is really cool. And the pages are done like, like a newspaper, like in the film. And then if you've seen my birthday haul, you'll know I got the Harry Potter from the Philosopher's Stone Illustrated Edition. Oh, yesterday I bought myself Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Illustrated. And then afterwards we went to Smith's Toys and I bought myself because I am a huge Bratz fan, I'm not going to lie. And they released some dolls for the 20th anniversary, so they did the Bratz Rock Angel, so I got Chloe. Down the back. And then I also got... You can see there it says 20 years. And then there's the back, it's exactly the same. And then we went to um, B&M um, because Easter's coming up. I got Bruce Rose's Easter egg. Because why not? So I... S oh, no, that's not everything. We also went to Pandora and I got myself my birthstone ring, which is December, if you don't already know. So it just looks like that. And then I also got, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is Putts and Chip Charm for my bracelet, which if you guys want to see a what's on my Pandora bracelet, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Whoa.